just like to zero in on uh, one verse out of the out of chapter 10. Very, very familiar verse. Many people would be known by heart. Jesus saying, the thief comes only to steal, to kill, and destroy. I came, they may have life and have it abundantly. This shows us a stark, sharp contrast between the spirit of the enemy and the spirit of the good shepherd. The spirit of the world and the spirit that we are all. Very, very sharp contrast. And then Jesus also says in the, the latter part of the gospel that was there, I have authority to lay down my life. I do. I choose to. See, the thief is self-serving. That's his spirit. Jesus, although having authority, although having power, although having self-sufficiency, chooses to lay down his life. In in uh, this, I'm, I'm preempting preempting Pentecost, but but in that that Pentecost uh, verse out of Acts chapter one verse eight, Jesus saying, "You shall receive power." After that, the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Why would we receive power? Why would we receive authority? So that we would be like Him, having ability, yet choosing to operate like He does. Laying down His life. Dynamis is power. Uh, it's why, where we get our, our English word dynamite. You know, small, packed with power. But why? Why, why give power? So that you are empowered to choose to lay down your life. So that you're, you're empowered to, to lose when you could win. You have the ability. You're empowered. But real power is, is seen in, in doing that. Um, <clears throat> you help me out here, uh, Greek scholars, because this, this title sounds Greek to me. Kyrie Pantokrator. I know Kyrie means Lord, right? Pantokrator means omnipotent. Oh my. Yet, yet, yet he holds back his hand. That's what he said. It says, you hold back your hand. You do not punish as we deserve. He has justification. He has power. Yet he chooses to forgive. Because that's what we're empowered for. To forgive when we can exact revenge. To serve when we can dominate or lord over. To be gentle when we can strong arm. We have the ability. We do. To, to draw instead of enforce, instead of forcefully getting our way. You know, parents would understand this. The real challenge of parenting is not shouting at your children and threatening with a rod or a bell. The real challenge is to draw them and inspiring them by example. That's a real challenge. That's, that's the real avenue uh, in which we can, we can uh, demonstrate or display parenting, dynamis, ability. To, to choose to not eat meat when we have the right to do so. But because we have the power to be compassionate on our brother who we do not want to stop. To not grasp what is rightfully ours, but give it up to save the unworthy, the hostile, the enemy. Um, <clears throat> I'm excited about Sunday's message. Uh, Philippians chapter 2 is a New Testament reading. And that's, uh, that talks about Jesus laying aside his privileges. In a, in a, Greek, uh, in a Greek terminology that, that means that, laying aside a, 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 your privileges, emptying yourself. He emptied his, himself of deity. To do what? To be human? go through our experiences, to feel what we feel, to be tempted as we are, in order to lift us up. 
kenosis. That's the Greek term. And so uh, what I would like to say is dynamis, which is power, is best demonstrated in kenosis. Dynamis is best demonstrated in kenosis. Not in, in, in a show of might, of flamboyance, and of, of brute power, but in humility. In a manger, in a baby, in a, in a, in a 14 year old virgin. We're going to change the world. We're going to start in a, in a rented manger. Tunis, kingdom of God. That's the spirit you are of. To go against the world's ways. To go against Herod's ways. Because that is passing away. I really, you know, I, I, I can never forget. I can never forget what uh, Mother Teresa said when, you know, she was uh, cleaning a what to some were, was a disgusting uh, wound of a, of a fellow Indian. And an American tourist, no offense, <laughs> an American tourist was, was watching, and he was within earshot of Mother Teresa. And this guy said, I wouldn't do that for a million dollars. And obviously Mother Teresa heard it. And looked, he, she looked up from, from kneeling and washing the wound, and she said to the American, I wouldn't do, that, do it for a million dollars. I was told, I don't know about whether the story is true, but I was told she was a writer and she was, she was wealthy. She belonged to a wealthy family, and she laid that aside in a kenosis kind of way. Laid that aside to do what? To serve the hungry. And her initial operating budget, her initial operating budget, zero dollars. And then her, her simple act, her heart, her, her dunamis that was displayed in her kenosis started a worldwide revolution of charity. And her, her movement other movements started out of that, that emptying of self. That is real power. Dynamis best demonstrated in kenosis. Brothers and sisters, that's the way it is in the kingdom of our God. Let us all stand.